doing well. So as I've said in past videos, I feel like I've neglected you guys on YouTube a little bit. Just with the requests, we get so many coming in, it's really hard to keep up. Obviously we can't please everyone. And there's a lot of smaller bands that are getting in touch with us at the moment as well. We've got an unbelievably huge list to get through with them as well. So uh, we will get to yours eventually. Now, I picked a request from YouTube. Now, this is Employed to Serve with Forcebed. Now, I did a little research on these guys. These guys are from the UK. It's a female-fronted hardcore band. So this is something completely different. Um, not usually into hardcore that much. I have done a couple of reactions to hardcore bands. Uh, can't say that I've listened to it too much after the reaction, but you never know. It could be just with the fucking males, man. The females could be bringing it. So, yep, that's right. You know, I always get them wrong. Um, like I said, these guys are from the UK, so representing. Don't know what they sound like other than it just basically described it as hardcore. Uh, so, let's just do it. So, this is Employed to Serve with Force Fed in 3, 2, 1. Oh, that's definitely the UK. That little spurk, man. Okay. It's just about. Oh. oh, it's a bouncy one. Oh. Bringing it on. Expect this? Slow it right down. But it's always welcome. Come on, really? Here we fucking go. Oh, <laughs> 
Holy shit, man. Fuck. So that was employed to serve with force fed. Right. I'm not usually a big fan of that kind of music. But that, to me, sounded amazing. It was bouncing them wrists was so fucking cool, man. Uh, and that little breakdown at the end. I don't know if you call it a breakdown, man. It wasn't like your typical breakdown. It was more the hardcore-ish breakdown, which I'm not really used to. But hearing it, I really could get into that. I thought the vocals were on point on this. I'm not trying to sound like the most sexist human alive, but I'm not usually into the more aggressive female vocals in songs. I don't know why, it's just a preference, but she was fucking killing it. She was absolutely fucking killing it in that. Especially with the backup vocals as well, with, with the, um, I'm not sure if it was the bass or the guitarist player. Throughout the whole song, it was almost as if like, there was just building up fucking tension all the way through it. It was stopping it and then building it back up. It was one of them songs where you just didn't know it was going to go. It was sort of like the little, da -da -da, da -da -da, but then it was, you didn't know it was going to kick in. You're just waiting for it and waiting for it. The suspense was killing me near the beginning as well. I just didn't know it was going to fucking happen. Kicked in. I thought, this is fucking going to sound amazing just from the first few fucking notes. And I was not disappointed in this. So I will definitely be fucking adding this to my playlist. I thought this was really good. And it's so unbelievably beer worthy. Cheers. Cheers.